What up my beautiful marmars and welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm gonna make something so delicious, so tasty. Just kidding, I really have no idea what it's gonna taste like because this is gonna be my first time making it too. <laughs> but I think I'm pretty sure I can eat this one. So today we're making Jello oranges. Yes, hopefully with the twist at the end, kind of. Like I always try to throw a little twist so it's just not, you know, plain Jello oranges. And it's just fun for everyone and I wish I could juggle. But yeah, let's get to it. Woo! First you wanna boil some water. While the water is boiling, Start stirring and just add some unflavored gelatin and stir and mix it all in there and stir and mix it all in there. And now that your unflavored gelatin is melted into there, you can go ahead and add your awesome orange colored jello. I'm gonna use about two packs just for safety, but you know, you probably need like one pack, but two packs. Yes, yes, yes. Mixture is pretty much dissolved. It's almost ready to pour into your oranges. Well, let's look at our girls here. Okay, these are beautiful oranges. Oh, we got some little innies right here. Who has innies? Leave it in the comment below. I do not have an innie. I have an Audi. No, wait, I lied. I lied. I have an innie. I just checked again. <laughs> I have an any just like these oranges. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't know what kind of belly button I had, but yes, I have a navel that is an any. Gently, gently go straight down to the top and just use the least sharp knife you have like I did. Oh, but that looks, mmm, the smell. The oranges, mmm, they smell so good. Oh, now you gently want to do the same thing to the other one on this side. Carefully watch your fingers be very careful with a knife when handling it. So we got a spoon now Go ahead and take my spoon and just ooh, it's very juicy Mmm Mmm, it's like breakfast But you're gonna want to save some of this stuff. Oh Mmm, so good. Okay break the wall on the other side, but if you can just go deep enough like that, bam. And then there's a little juice left, you can just, mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right, it should look like this when you're done. And find some random things in your house that will hold your oranges like this. Pretty random, but very effective. Look at that, like they just fit the oranges like perfectly. It just makes it so the orange can't spill all the awesome jello juice you're about to put inside of them. You're just simply gonna wanna pour your jello in gently, very gently. Ah, ooh, yeah, look at that. Very nice moment. And you wanna save some room for it if you wanna add some stuff to it and just level it out if it's kinda lopsided. Like this one's gonna be lopsided, so I'm gonna level it out. And then, woo, pour it in. Whee, jello. I'm gonna save a little bit of room. Oh no, it's coming out the navel, no! It's coming out the nipple! No, the navel, not the nipple. Nice, perfecto. Now you're just gonna grab your bowl of pulp right here and just like pick some pieces of the orange and just, you know, sprinkle some in so you get some real orange inside of your orange jello. And then just drop some pulp in. I, I actually like incorporating real pieces of stuff into my jello. We should be about ready to put it in the fridge. It has been eight hours and the oranges are done now, so let's get to cutting. This knife. Mm. Uh, look at it. Oh. Now that I've cut that one with the knife, I'm gonna use this apple medieval torture device and just mm. what? <laughs> it won't go all the way through. <clears throat> okay, come on, baby. Look at it. There's that that weird thing in the middle again. All right, guys. 
I have all my orange slices here, all in different slice combinations. Look at this. Wow. Okay, I'm going to try one. I don't know what I'm going to try. Uh, let's try it. Where's that ultra thin one that I wanted? No. Mm, mm, mm. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. Okay, this one has a little piece of orange in there. And it's like really thick. And uh, it's really cool though. You guys could definitely do this at home. And it's really simple. I have this Mexican seasoning <laughs> that I'm addicted to right now um, that I'm just going to put on it cause, just for laughs and I like spicy stuff so this is like oh my gosh it's making my mouth like water right now. I'm just going to oh yeah look at how much of the Mexican seasoning I put on that. Yes. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to take a bite of this. I'm going to taste it. See how it tastes. Let's do it. Oh. <coughs> I like inhaled some of it. <coughs> It's in my lungs. Okay. There we go. Mmm. That's really good. Gelatin and Mexican seasoning. I like it. I like it. This is tasty. Just don't inhale it because then you'll choke and you'll almost die. But hey, this is not bad. Mmm, like this should be really cool. At your next party, oranges with jello inside. Thank you guys so much for watching my orange gummy jello DIY video. I will see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video. And have a great day. Peace! What is up, my beautiful marmars? Thank you guys for joining me today. Make sure you follow me on these other social media devices here. I post a new video every single day at 12 p.m. And welcome to my beautiful kitchen. Today, we're gonna be making something I can eat, kind of, you know? I can kind of eat it. I don't really know if I can fully eat it. Um, a lot of things I make sometimes that are in jello form are just to like look cool and we can look at the insides and experiment together. But yeah, let's get to it. Jello ramen, woo! First step is to get your water boiling and then add some unflavored gelatin. 